by Tina and they made up for me today from a friend. I'm wearing this every time I do a lecture. I just love it. So much fun. I work part time. Last week I was chatting with one of the gals at work and she uses a lot of green chilies. So I asked her, I said, do you roast your own? She said, no. I buy a roast and I said, where do you do that? Food City. I said, all right. So I came home and I called Food City. They roast them in a vat. They don't add any seasonings. And then they package them like this and they're in the salad section. This bag cost me $2.50. They're charred and they're whole. Now, all I have to do is cut the caps off, take the peel off, seed them, and chop them. If you can't find them, I found this. If I'm looking for something in the meat department I can't find, I ask the butcher. They know where everything is in other stores. Check with the produce section. I have Fry's, Safeway, and Albertsons close to me. None of them carried this. But I'll just be willing to bet that if I called the produce section, told them what I was looking for, they would tell me to go to Food City. Pretty easy. This is absolutely the most fun course I've ever done. And the end result is that you can put a meal on the table less than half an hour. Less than half an hour. I have taco meat and beans frozen in packages for Johnny and I. All I gotta do is heat that up, fry my tortillas, got stuff to put in it, and I'm done. I've got beans frozen without the meat. If I want to make some dip, whatever I want to do with it. I have corn tortillas. There's some things we want to have corn tortillas. I only have three flour tortillas left, so this week I'm making flour tortillas. Got my green chilies frozen. Just rip off what you need. I've got enough here to last me probably two or three weeks, and then I would I'd have to make more if I hadn't bought those from Food City, but I'm going to have those in there. I've got fire roasted tomatoes to add to anything I want to. Chorizo from our chorizo lecture. Sausage. The recipe for the sausage, it's in the burrito lecture because sausage is really good for morning burritos. And I have one little pack of chicken to show you. I have more in my freezer. When I do chicken, I do a bunch, and then I freeze it in packages that we would need. There's a half a cup in here, and that's because I have a friend who loves taco salad with no more than a half a cup of chicken in it. And when we have taco salad, I'm going to invite her over. She can have chicken. It's ready for her. It is ready for her. So you see that once you get all this stuff done, you can put a meal out pretty fast. You just have to keep watch. If you get low on beans, do beans. If you're low on green chilies and you don't have a food city to run to, do those. You keep your stock up and you've got really quick, nice dinners. Sometimes when women get pregnant, they have to watch their sodium until the baby's born. Short-term sodium watcher. If you are one of those people, you have a golden opportunity to lower the sodium in your whole family's life. Perhaps ward off some of the problems that we forever sodium watchers have. In conclusion, I'd just like to say keep watching that sodium. It hides, it's elusive. We think we know where it is, but we gotta keep trying. From Judy, the sodium attacker.